A man who lives in DeSoto thinks hundreds of federally protected birds in his neighborhood aren't getting much protection. Mike Tinsley got so upset about it, he went out at about midnight last night and sent us a video on Facebook he called Tonight's Kill. But this ain't right right here, man. I want y'all to see what I'm looking at. Look at all this, man. Egrets are messy and noisy and poop a lot, but Tinsley says dozens and dozens are dying in DeSoto every day and they don't deserve it. Fox Force Natalie Solis is in DeSoto right now with more on what's going on. Natalie. Well, Steve, uh, since March, about 6,000 egrets have moved into the trees behind me. Uh, they are migratory birds. They're also federally protected, so not a lot can be done about them. But the problem here, a lot of them are dying. In fact, the city tells me that they've picked, removed about 65 dead birds from this road today alone. Mike Tinsley isn't a huge fan of egrets. I just can't take it, man. This, it, you know... It's hard on, on a person's conscience. But he isn't going to stand idly by. Look, 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 look. See him? Uh -oh. That ain't right, man. As baby birds meet untimely deaths crossing Hampton Road just south of Parkerville in DeSoto. People just, you know, there's, you know, you, it's a two-lane road, so you can't really get into another lane of traffic. And it's not just the birds crossing the road to find food at a construction site. The bugs, the mice, the little snakes. That are dying. We saw lots of dead birds all along the tree line. I, I'm just worried. The birds, especially dying birds, a big concern for Condell Goss Jr., who lives in a nearby neighborhood where egrets are setting up house on Mockingbird, Canary, and Finch Streets. Not sure these people would be so sold on their new neighbors. I don't know if it's a disease or what they're carrying that's killing them and... I just don't know. Mortality rate's about 65%. So there's a lot of uh, dead birds associated with an egret rookery. It's not anything disease related. There's just limited water supply, limited food supply. The city doing as much as it can to remove the dead birds from people's yards and roadways. Otherwise, hands are tied. They're federally protected, and, and we're very limited on what we can do. Someone put out a kiddie pool so the birds could have water. Tinsley wants to see more done to protect them, even if the egrets are unwanted guests. Somebody has to care. All right, well, Jimmy Stevens with the city of DeSoto does say that the birds will eventually leave, but they will also likely come back. Now, they typically establish a rookery, he says, in the same location for five to seven years. So, Steve, people here should get used to having uh, these visitors from time to time. Uh, understood. And, Natalie, we've seen these stories before about neighborhoods kind of infested. And nobody likes it. We, we understand that. But this whole idea of them being protected and really not getting much protected, it, it can't be relocated. But can anybody do anything to keep them out of the road from getting run over? Right. So that's a big part of the concern here. We did see lots of dead birds as we uh, came up on the road today. So I'm told that the city has given permission to the business across the road um, to put up some mesh fencing. Uh, that business is Walmart, and they have put some up, but as we've seen, the birds are still getting around it. So not really sure what the next step might be. All right. Natalie Shalise in DeSoto, thanks.